Hello everyone, this is a video review of the 2014 Dale Earnhardt Jr. National Guard 124 scale die cast. Here you can see the box, which is the standard 2014 box design, which includes the name of the driver, Dale Earnhardt Jr., his face, along with the front of the car. Here as we spin the box you can see the tag, which shows production of this car as 7,000 56 cars. We'll continue to spin the box and you can see here on the side well, there's a view of the car uh, that we will get to see here in a few minutes. And then we'll turn the box on its side and you can see the rest of the box design. Which also includes Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s face, a picture of the car, here's a better view of the tag which is kind of hard to see because of the reflection, uh, but Dale Earnhardt Jr. National Guard 2014 SS, again, 7,056 cars produced. And then here is the back of the box, along with the back view of the car, uh, and the Hendrick Motorsports logo this time on the box. Here we get our first look at the 2014 Dale Earnhardt Jr. National Guard diecast. This is a very different design from anything Dale has had in the past uh, and includes majority of colors of red, white, and blue. The car also has, which does not come across very well on the video, but it does include um, a metallic finish to the car. Uh, the entire car is finished uh, in metallic, so the red uh, at the bottom is metallic, the blue where it says National Guard, the blue highlight where it says National Guard is in metallic, as well as the white on the car is also in metallic. This particular die cast uh, of this car, the standard 2014 finish of this 2014 National Guard car, does not include the special finish on the numbers that you see on the actual car. The race wins versions of these cars, um, most specifically the Daytona 500 win so far this season, will have the special finish to the numbers. Uh, they kind of have a little bit of a raised look to them um, and they look very good. Here we get another look of the car which this particular car does have hood open, trunk open, and the roof flaps open, um, which allows you to see all the different details inside the car, uh, as well as inside the hood and trunk areas. There is detail on the interior of the car, including a steering wheel, seat, along with uh, various hoses. In the trunk, uh, which is hard to see because of the lighting and also the angle. There is some detail including the fuel filler, fuel tank, as well as a fire extinguisher. Here as we continue to spin around you can see that the roof flaps are open which they don't have any detail underneath them and it is just the black finish of the body of the car underneath the roof flaps. Here as we continue to spin you can see the rest of the car uh, along with some of the hood detail, the under hood detail including the engine as well as a couple of sponsor logos underneath the hood which are Mountain Dew uh, and Chevrolet. One, partic one issue with this particular car um, which I'm not going to send it back for this but just wanted to point it out is the vent here on the side of the car is a little off it's a little bit more forward and down than it should be on the other side uh, you can see the vent is exactly where it should be but again on the driver's side door it is a little off on position it doesn't do anything to affect uh, the car overall none of the other stickers appear to be off um, but that is a little bit lower than it should be and just wanted to point that out here you can see the detail underneath the car uh, which is the standard detail uh, standard arc 
action racing collectibles car um, which does have various details you can see the engine as well as the exhaust overall I'm very impressed with this 2014 Dale Earnhardt Jr. National Guard diecast uh, retail price on this car is $64.99 and you can get it at any of your local diecast dealers uh, especially Darnick 44 uh, and you can also get a link to his website at diecasthunters.com this car uh, has great detail on it the paint scheme on this car is excellent it is one of the best one of my favorite National Guard paint schemes that I've seen in the last few years um, just a great looking car and seeing this car makes me even more excited to see the Daytona 500 winning diecast car which once those do come out I will definitely have reviews of those uh, in the if future. If you have any questions or comments make sure to comment below the video and if you like this video review and wish to see more especially the ones that we're doing in the future make sure to give this channel subscribe and you will be alerted to any future videos that come out.